Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer and the camera is way far away from me so <laughs> hopefully the sound is clear and you guys can still hear me. I'm going to try to amplify my voice because I don't have microphones or any of that nonsense. I just got a camera. So um, the reason I'm here today, it's Friday and if you've been around for a while you know that usually on Fridays I show yarn porn. I'm not doing that today. <laughs> I have not purchased any yarn today. Not for lack of trying. <clears throat> I have been to a couple of different stores. On the lookout. Just seeing. Have not found anything that interested me enough to add it to the stash. And also I have some yarn that I still have not shelved or put away. And the reason that is, is because the way that I have my room right now, I really like it. Okay, I do have space where I could fill up more yarn. I have, there's a lot of space I could fill up yarn. Let's be real. I have open spaces. Now, I like having the open spaces. And I kind of like the way the room is configured right now. I like the simplicity of my stash. I like how beautiful everything looks. I don't want to crowd it or overcrowd it again. So today I'm sitting here with no fresh yarn. However, I have a tote full right here of Hanks. And I'm hoping, and I don't know if this is going to work, if I at the very least cake them up that they will fit neat, more neatly into the plastic bins. And it will encourage me to reach for them because I have some amazing yarn that is in hank form. And I want to use it, but in order to use it, I got to come in here and hank it up for or cake it up first. And who's got time for that? Like seriously, who has time to do all that? And <clears throat> some of this is just Hobby Lobby yarn. <coughs> some of it is hand dyed yarn that I've dyed myself or from small batch dyers. Some of it is high end yarn. <laughs> I have a huge mixture. Some of it is from Universal Yarn. This one particularly is Bamboo Bloom and I have a bunch of it because it's so pretty but it's all in hanks and I want to play with it but also it's severely thick thin. So it goes from like a bulky or a super bulky to like a number one. <laughs> so it's an unusual yarn. It goes very, very thick thin. I don't know if I'm going to be able to crochet with it. I think that I can though. I think in order to crochet with this though, I need to use a hook for the thickest part of the yarn. And then all of the thin skinny stitches will just be more open and lacy. And I want to play with it, but it's got to be, it's got to be balled up. I got to be able to use it. I had this beautiful skein of yarn that was gifted to me from, oh, what is her channel name? Her name is Ryan. She has not made a video in a long time that I have seen anyway. She gifted me this gorgeous National Parks yarn and I want to use it. I want to play with it because it's, you know, it's, it's a personal thing for me. So... What I'm doing today is I'm trying to cake up some of these yarns, um, hoping that they take up, and I gotta try to push stuff out of the way so that I can actually use my, hopefully I don't knock it down on the floor, so I can use my Swift. Um, I also gotta get my ball winder down, which is up there. That's what I'm doing today because I really don't need any more yarn and there's not any yarn on the market that is new that I want. Uh, I know that everybody's going crazy about the Ogo yarns, the Ogo yarns. They are not going to be in this room ever. And it's not that I don't like the yarn that's on the Ogos. I don't like the look of the Ogo and I'm having a hard time storing this. I can't imagine trying to store a toilet seat. They're just, they're too cumbersome and bulky for me and I'm just not interested. And I'm not criticizing anybody that likes them. But I don't like the Ogo for a lot of reasons. Um, they take up a lot of room unnecessarily. Uh, it's a, It feels like a gimmick to me. And I just, I'm not, 
I just don't like the way that the packaging is. I don't like the donut shape or the, they look like a toilet seat cover to me. Um, but the problem is, is storage space. Like I don't have storage space. I also don't outer pull my yarn. I center pull all of my yarn always because I don't like having to pull extra hard to get the yarn to unfurl from the outside if it's laying on its side. And I know there are things that you could put it on that it just pull, but like, I'm not interested. <laughs> cause I could, cause my Joann's has Ogo, um, Simply Soft or Ogo Karen or whatever it is. It has the new Halo one, which me and Mr. Cinnamon both didn't like the feel of. It has like all these like new colors and whatever. I'm just like, yeah, no, no. Cause I already got problems. I need to cake these up. So that's what we're going to do today. I need to. I need to figure out how I'm going to do this because when I usually do this, I do it on my kitchen table, which has nothing on it. And this has craft supplies and things that I need. <laughs> and hopefully my, uh, my cake winder fits on the table. So I'm going to grab that real quick and I'm going to, I'm going to have to edit the heck out of this video. I just feel like today I don't have my craft together. The reason is. Little man didn't sleep last night. He, um, since he started school, he was, he was doing pretty good sleeping, but he was still, like, he has sleep problems, so he has a hard time staying asleep and staying in his bed. And, um, you're not going to fit on here, are you? Last night he wasn't feeling well. Not like a stuffy nose. It's not anything major. Why is this not going on my table? He just has stuffy nose, so he was up a lot last night. And I realized the other day that he needed to go to bed earlier because going to bed at nine o'clock he was not getting enough sleep. He's because he wakes up at I get him up at 7.15, between 7.15 and 7.30, depending on the day. And he <clears throat> he was really just miserable, cranky, overtired when he was getting home from school because he's adjusting to life back in school. And he was struggling a little bit. This, this works so much better than me sitting over there. I don't know what else again. So, there we have it. There we have it. I think this will work. So, this is a much better close-up view of what the bloom, what is this? Bamboo bloom looks like. So we didn't sleep very well last night, because usually when he's up, I'm up. Because he just wants to be my mommy. Mr. Cinnamon was tired and cranky, so I had to deal with him. So today, my brain is not functioning properly because I'm, I'm tired. I can imagine he probably is too. He woke up this morning and he is not, little man is not a complainer. He does not complain. He never tells me he's sick. That is so pretty. If you've guys seen this in the past, I have worn it as hair, <laughs> as doll hair. Because it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So, <clears throat> like I said, little man's not a complainer. He doesn't complain. He doesn't feel good. He just will be by himself and just, like, chill. He's not, like, Juju, for example. That child will whine and whine and whine and tell everybody every little ache and pain she has. Little man is not like that. And this morning he got up and he's all, Mom... I think I'm sick. And I was like, yeah? He's all, yeah. I said, what's wrong? He kept telling me last night his mouth hurt. And I think his mouth hurts means he was sleeping with his mouth open, so it was severely dry. We've all dealt with that. Where are my scissors? And so he kept getting up to get water. And his throat might hurt too, I don't know. Scissors, scissors. I know where they're at. They're in the project bag, maybe. 
So I told him I was like, he's all, can I stay home from school today? And I was like, baby, you don't have a fever. It's probably just the weather that's making you feel bad because it could be allergies. He has a lot of the same allergies as me. <clears throat> but it also could be um, just being around germy kids because my kids always get these will work. My kids always get sick towards the, towards the first when they go back to school because <clears throat> of germs. Because of germy kids. And so it's probably just that. You don't have a fever. You don't need to stay home. You can go to school. It's going to be fine. I don't think that's what he wanted to hear, but he's fine. He just doesn't feel good. So I, of course, will keep an eye on that as a reward because he's doing really good in school um, this year. Well, so I, it's only been, I think today is a week and a day since he's been back in school. And he's been doing really good. He's been he's been really good getting up, except for one day we had a really bad day. And I mean a really bad day where the first three minutes he's up, he's telling me he hates me. And it it's not him being bad. It's him not knowing how to control what's happening to his mind, his body, his anxiety, his being exhausted was a major part of it. So that whole day he was just really miserable. And... Uh, I try to be patient with that, but it's really hard because it's hurtful. And aside from that one day, he's been doing just excellent. I hope this doesn't... Now I'm looking at how thick this is and how little the eye is on my machine. I don't know if this is going to work. So because he's been doing so good every morning except that one morning... And then once I got him sleeping better, we figured out that that's why he was cranky. I didn't do that right. Um, he's been doing really good. And even his teacher, because we let her know right off the bat, these are some of the issues little man has. This is how to deal with it. If you need any assistance or guidance or there's any problems with him, let us know because we're the type of parents where we, we want to assist the teacher as much as possible. Um, I don't think it's her job to fully raise my kid without help. And we let him let her know about little man's experience last year and all that. So we want to stay in communication without being helicopter parents. Although Mr. Cinnamon's not real good at not being a helicopter parent. <laughs> he's very he's very helicoptery. I had to ask him one day, I was like, hey, um, did you stop by on the way home from work? And he's all, where? I was like, to get your helicopter license? And he looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, you're being a helicopter parent. <laughs> he, he didn't want to hear that. <laughs> so, anyway, little man's been doing pretty good. So, last night for dinner, um, Juju made dinner again. She made... Um, Sticky wings and Mr. Cinnamon made pot gluten-free pot stickers. And I'm not a fan of chicken wings. I like boneless chicken for the most part or chicken thighs. I won't even eat chicken legs. And yes, my thing is very loud, but it's working. So I made myself some rice. I had some rice for dinner and two chicken wings. And little man had pizza because I told him he's been doing really good at school. He's been really respectful at home. So I bought him pizza. And then I looked at him and I said, do you know how hard it is for mommy to look at that pizza and not be able to have any? <laughs> I was like, imagine Lucas, if you, got, if you found out you were allergic to pizza and you couldn't eat it ever again, and then somebody's sitting there eating your favorite pizza. And he's all, I don't like that. I was like, yeah, I don't like it either. <laughs> but I very, gl I very gladly let him eat pizza. I, I, I just don't care. His, he's doing good with his medicine. He's doing good with his weight gain. Um, he has stopped losing, which is fantastic. So we're finally at like a happy medium. And he looks... Like, I'm, I'm glad when we started the medicine that he was thick, he was chunky, because the weight that he, and he lost a significant amount of weight. 
Um, I'm glad that he was thick enough that now he just looks like an average little boy. And he's not like underweight, he's not super skinny, but he is so tall. The low man's eight years old. He's up to here on me, and I'm five nine. So he's easily five foot tall already. But yeah, I'm I'm exhausted today, and I'm also trying desperately to come off of caffeine. I've been fighting the caffeine thing for months now. And my body don't like caffeine, but I'm having a hard time just being awake and alert without it. And so I've been drinking Dr. Pepper every day. And Mr. Cinnamon is such an enabler. He keeps bringing me Dr. Pepper, especially on like days where I'm shooting a lot or I'm, I'm editing a lot and I got a lot going on. He brings me a Dr. Pepper and I love him for it. I love him for it, but at the same time, like I need to come off of the caffeine. My body does not like caffeine. So today, I'm still having a sugary soda. I'm having an a w cream soda. But um, I'm really trying to uptake my water again. And I know you guys have been hearing this for months from me because I'm struggling. It's hard. It's hard. Now, what I do is I fold my paper or my label and I tuck it on the inside. Isn't that neat? Do you see how some of it's really, really fat and some of it is like really, really thin? And it's beautiful. And I have a whole bunch of this. This is Universal Yarns Bamboo Bloom. My light is too bright. I made it extra bright because I was going to be sitting on the other side of the table. But now that we're closer, it's too bright. So one done. I need a bucket on this side to put them in. Let me just set it back there for now. Yeah, I was talking to my sister yesterday. She is, um, she's going to be opening her own Etsy shop to sell her finished, where it was her finished makes, um, just to provide herself a little bit of extra income because she hasn't gone back to work since the baby's been born and they kind of need the extra income. But I think more than that, she needs something to focus on. <laughs> So we were going over names last night and we were talking about um, possible names and we we're talking about what she wants to do and um, we were also talking about my channel and I was telling her, I was like, I have nothing for Yarn Porn Friday. And she's all, you know, every time you tell me you don't have anything for Yarn Porn Friday, I have just purchased yarn. <laughs> She's like, maybe I should come on. And I was like, yeah, but it's hard because it's just her and the baby's like all, well, Adora's not a baby anymore. It's just her and the her, her girls all day long for the most part. And um, the baby is very demanding. <laughs> I told her that the baby Adeline the newest baby has my personality and she so does this child i'm telling you she acts just like her aunt jenny and i think my sister would agree <laughs> and we were talking i was talking to mr cinnamon and juju and my niece was here and we were talking and i was like why do both my sisters have children with my personality because nini has my personality pumpkin spice has my personality uh, and now it seems like Adeline very much has my look at me personality. Like she demands to be seen and heard even though she can't talk. She like demands it. She wants constant look at me, listen to me, pay attention to me. I have things to say. <laughs> that's, that's my personality. She's very, she knows what she wants and she wants it right now. And she's stubborn as all heck. She's very loud and opinionated. <laughs> With no actual words coming out of her mouth, but she's gonna let you know. And she kind of looks like me a little bit. I mean, my Paprika looks like me. Um, <clears throat> pictures of us when we were little, my mom sometimes couldn't tell the pictures apart because we look alike. And so I think Adeline looks like me. And I, I, I mentioned that to my family. I was like, why do both my sisters have children that have my personality? And it was determined, and I don't remember who at the table said this, and they were like, maybe it's punishment for uh, the way they treated you when you were younger. <laughs> so now they're getting their payback with having me as a child. Which, hey, 
I'm all for that. I just think it's hilarious. And I really like that they love me so much. Um, when I get on the phone, and I've talked to my sister a bunch this week. Like, we, when she left and went home after visiting, we didn't talk for a couple weeks because everything. You guys know what went down. It was just, there was a lot going on. And uh, we didn't talk a whole lot. This week, however, I think we've talked every single day except one day. And every time I pop up on the phone, Baby Adora, which is four, goes, Is that Aunt Jenny? Which is a new discovery because she wasn't calling me Aunt Jenny. She was just calling me Jenny. And I kept reinforcing his Aunt Jenny because I love that title. Like, I love being Aunt Jenny. And so now she's like, is that Aunt Jenny? I want to talk to Aunt Jenny. And then she gets in between her mom and the phone and talk, tries to talk to me. She doesn't ever know what to say, but she tries to talk to me. And then the other day, I was talking to Adora, and Adeline is across the room. And she is fussing and fussing and fussing. And my sister goes, okay, I got to go pick her up. I was like, all right, she just wants to see me. That's all she wants. She wants to see Aunt Jenny. And so... <laughs> She picks her up. That baby tried to crawl through the phone to get to me. So I was like, come here, baby. Come see Aunt Jenny. And she's reaching and reaching, trying to grab the phone. It was the cutest thing ever. And she started making this new noise. It is hilarious. It's like a laugh, but not really. She goes <laughs> at me on the phone over and over again. And I, you just got to laugh at her because she's got those two little teeth that she got when she was here. They just stick out like so far. She looks like a little gremlin. It is the cutest thing ever. I'm really blessed that they love me so much. When I was, and Juju is very much like this, when I was a teenager or younger, I did not have, this is the Amelie yarn that I showed you guys I got in Richmond for my birthday. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a little green cloud. <clears throat> when I was a teenager, I didn't like kids at all. Um... I did not have the patience to deal with people's children. I, I didn't, you know, everyone told me I shouldn't have kids. Everyone told me I was not going to be a great mom. I wasn't patient. I wasn't all the things they thought a mother should be as a teenager. <laughs> Truth of the matter is, my mom babysat so many other people's children. There was just always kids in the house, and I could not stand that. I was a teenager. We lived in a very small house. A very small house. We had five rooms total in the whole house. I don't even know the square footage, but the biggest room in the house was our living room. It was 12 by 10, so it was slightly bigger than this room I'm in now. Because Actually, no. I think this room is 12 by 10. So our living room was probably the size of this room. Um... And the bedrooms were the size of the living room. <laughs> if, like, you cut them. So if the living room is this wide, the bedrooms were, like, divided here. <laughs> so this room was the size of a bedroom. And this room was the size of a hallway with room for a bed. And that's it. It was a very strange house. And then there was a bathroom and a, a kitchen. It was a very small house. I didn't have time to deal with other people. And these people that we babysat for, the children were spoiled. They were spoiled. They were brats. And I just, I didn't have time for that as a teenager, which is normal. And now here I am. All the babies love me. <laughs> I even, I even worked with children for years and years being a family photographer so i also raised other people's children i always liked one of my my major personality um it's not a flaw it's one of my major personality traits is that i like to prove people wrong so if you tell me i can't do something or i won't be good at it i'll i'm gonna prove you wrong I, and that's that's kind of where the knitting video came in is 
I got tired of being told, you know, and I didn't want that video to be like, I think a lot of people took that video that it was, um, I didn't make the video to be sad or mopey about being picked on or whatever it was. I made the video because it was a triumph that I finally figured something out. And I just told the backstory of all the criticism, and that's what pushed me further and harder. Because I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm absolutely going to prove you wrong. That's just my personality. Because I've been told I couldn't so often. And I really just wanted that video to be a triumph. I finally figured I was so proud of myself. And everybody was like, I'm sorry you're being treated that way. And then I was like, well, maybe I should have left that part out of the video because... I was just feeling triumphant. I was feeling so triumphant. Because that knitting is hard. It's so hard. And Nancy from She's Got Yarn made a video. And I cried watching it because what I said affected her so much. And then it, that affected me so much. And she was talking about how everybody ha learns differently and everybody has their own, like, things that they have that are challenging to them. And we all learn differently. And, like, that is so true. And I don't think that's being talked about enough. I just think it's not. So, that's why I made the video. This is so calming to me to just cake up yarn. This yarn is doing some beautiful, like, fuzzy halo thing. <laughs> it looks like I'm rubbing a balloon on somebody's head where their hair stands up. I'll show you when I take it off the um, paper. It's so pretty, but I think it's building up static. And it's definitely shedding all over my desk. Hang on, I'm going to show you guys something. Now, my desk was clean when I started this. There is, well, there's some of my hair mixed in, but that's how much that fuzzed. That's how much that shed. Oops, I forgot to put the label in. Hang on. It totally went into another dimension of fuzzy and like all of the little hairs are standing on end. It's so soft and pretty though. I just predict that this, even though it's soft and it's gorgeous and I love it, it's going to shed while working with it because it just made a huge mess all over my desk. And it's probably going to shed if you wear it over, like I could not wear this over certain materials. I could not wear this over like dark colors because it will look like I had a relationship with a blue cat <laughs> yeah this yarn is gorgeous this is the one debbie from the canadian crotcher sent me she sent me two in this color this to me is just relaxing and i'm like you know what i i finished knitting that thing that i was working on my sample but i actually made it into something and i'll show you guys that on monday um i also I'm crocheting the dress you just saw me digging through that bag for scissors. Um, I actually am finally putting some work into that and I got some inches put in. Because <clears throat> I really want to get done with that so I can focus on other things. And the post office is messaging me. I figured today, since I have other things that are Kind of stressful that I'm working on or like I, I really I don't know I just wanted to take a chill day today I knew that I had to record and I wanted to this box of yarn has been sitting in the hallway since I rearranged the room I want to get it put away and it's it's been open because it doesn't close all the way because there's so many hanks in here 
And it's not just Hanks. I mean, there's other yarn at the bottom. No, it's mostly Hanks. And it's Hanks from like everywhere. It's all kinds of Hanks. And I want to just, I want it to be closed enough so that I can put it somewhere. Because this one doesn't fit under my desk. I want to put it somewhere that it's not, that it's safe. And then I know where all my good hand dyed yarns are or LAS yarns are or, you know. That one company I used to get yarn from. <laughs> so I just find this so relaxing to just sit and just, it's almost mesmerizing to watch this thing go round and round and round. And I, I like, this is almost like exercise because like I'm pumping my arm around. So we're going to call this our cardio for the day. <laughs> by the end of these and I know I'm not gonna get all those done my arms gonna be killing me usually when I cake up a bunch of yarn it's usually yarn that I have hand dyed and sold myself and by the end of the day my arm is killing me and I usually have one of the kids come in like little man loves doing this this is his favorite chore in the whole world he loves cranking this thing but he gets overzealous and it's really really fast and sometimes that can break the yarn or it can tangle around the, the swift I do get asked a lot about the ooh, about the Swift and the the caker, the ball caker. I will link them both below. I got them both on Amazon. I, they're not like the most expensive. They're also not the cheap versions. They're the tools that I require for what I do. So I will link those below if you're interested. want to buy a new caker because I'm missing a piece for this one. I also, the, the arm thing that is right here that holds the arm has been bent and bent and bent, so it's like kind of out of line and it still works just fine but I really would like a new one. Cue the bird clock. That means it's 10 o'clock and it's time for the dogs to eat. They eat at 10 o'clock every day because of that bird. <laughs> that bird on that clock tells them it's 10 o'clock and they come find me usually. I just heard them go out the doggy door though, so maybe they didn't hear it. Maybe I got another 15 minutes. And there's a whole new pile of fur on my desk. Oh, come on, work with me. Work with me. My sister also has been wanting to go to Michigan to find yarns. And I kind of have been itching to make another order through Michigan Fine Yarns because she has a new yarn that is made out of re recycled denim, like blue jeans. It's made out of recycled blue jeans. And it's blue jean colored. It's, you guys know I love blue jean colored yarn. I love blue jeans. I don't like wearing them necessarily. I used to love wearing blue jeans, but like I just love blue jeans. I like denim. I love the aesthetic of denim. And so she was supposed to go Tuesday. She didn't realize that they were closed on Tuesday. And um, she drove over there and she's like, oh, uh, they're closed. And I was like, well, when you go back, I need you to look at the denim yarn and touch it for me. Because this is part of the problem I have. Like I love Michigan Fine Yarns. I love their store. I love their yarn selection. And I love their website. It's very easy to navigate. The problem is, is you guys know I have skin problems. We, we, we all know this. So unless I can touch it, feel it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use the yarn. And so I was like, can you just at least go touch it for me and let me know what it feels like. And then if it's soft, I'm just going to place an order. I was going to have her buy the yarn for me and I was going to um, send her the money, which we have done lots of times in the past. But then it occurred to me, she's really bad at mailing stuff out. <laughs> I don't think she's mailed little man's gift out yet. She's always like really late. And I was like, so if I buy and I order it online, A, I can get free shipping. And B, I know that they will have it in the mail within the day. Because she's that good. So I was like, just let me know 
So I put some things in my shopping cart so that when she does go over to Michigan Fine Yarns, she can give me a quick little review of what the yarn feels like. And then I can place my order from there. Four and a half stains? It's gonna be a long day. There is now fuzz on my camera. <laughs> this whole room is just gonna be covered in fuzz. Although, I'm almost done with this Amelie yarn. My phone even has fuzz on it. Let's see if I can get that show up. Come on. Block the face. You see that? That's from the yarn. I mean, my phone's dirty, but like it's not that was, it was covered in fuzz. It always makes my chores go so much faster when I'm like visiting with you guys. And yes, my arm is starting to hurt right here. <laughs> I just hope this thing's not too loud and irritating. one was possibly the fussiest of them all. Come on, focus. That's a lot of fuzz. <laughs> all right, guys. I think I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna continue to do this. Um, Mr. Cinnamon might be home anytime now. He's got a doctor's appointment today. Um, he's a routine doctor. No big deal. I think I'm going to switch to water because this is not quenching my thirst right now. And yeah, I have so many beautiful, beautiful yarns left to go. I hope I can at least... I hope I can at least get some of those down so I can organize that box better. Now that I'm looking at the difference in size between, and this is not a good example, this and this, I think that it's going to take up significantly less room by caking them up. And I hate caking them up because, the, I mean, it's so pretty in Hank form, but at the same time, like, I need to condense the way that they are stored so that they fit better. And I might be able to put them up there. That's actually probably a really good idea. I just wish there were more hours in the day to crochet and knit more things. <laughs> I really do. There's so many things I want to do and want to make. And if I was sitting and crocheting and knitting today, I probably would get a lot more done instead of caking this up. But I figure at least I'm doing the, the pro work, the, the, the work to get the work done. I'm doing the work before the work. <laughs> and that way I can come in here and go, oh, I really would like to work with this high-end yarn today. And that's why I grab for the acrylics so often because A, the acrylics are soft and they're gentle on my hands a lot of times, but also like they're already skeined and caked up. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go about my business. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. For the members, your video is already uploaded. I just got to make it go live on Saturday. The membership thing on YouTube is kind of weird because they let me upload it, but I cannot schedule it as a member video. 
so I have to upload it and keep it as unlisted until Saturday morning. Then I have to set an alarm on my phone so that I can wake up and publish it, which is why the Saturday videos are not live at 8 o'clock because I don't plan on getting out of bed at 8 o'clock. So the, the Saturday videos will either be 9 or 10 o'clock always because that's when I'm up and able. I don't want to get up first thing and go, oh, phone. <laughs> But I do set an alarm to remind myself to make the members' videos go public. I recorded that at the beginning of the week before all of these vi other videos have been recorded. But, um, yeah, it's, it's it's kind of a... To give you a preview, it's an inside look at my planning the week out. So that's what that video will be about. Um, how I plan my videos, how I plan my week out. And I really... There's things that I need to put in my planner even right now. And I talk, and I talk about what's in, on my mind at the time. It's a very natural, laid back. I don't edit the videos. I don't do it. I just record them and I upload them, and then I'm done with it. <laughs> so, if you're curious what membership is about, that's what it's about. It's just, it's a more raw look at me being me, because sometimes when I turn on the camera, I, I I'm cinnamon stitches. My cinnamon stitches persona is there and sometimes um it's not that it's fake but it's tv personality you know you have to you have to act professional you have to act and and the saturday member videos is more just me being me in my quiet time by myself in my office just talking about what i'm thinking just, you know all that good stuff so you know it's just me opening my heart a little bit and some of my secrets out of the closet. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you have a good weekend. For the members, I will see you tomorrow. For the rest of you, I will see you Monday with the one and only thing that I have made this week. And I, don't, I may make something else. I may not. I don't know how this weekend is going to go. It's a grocery shopping weekend, so I got to go. I'm going to go to the farmer's market this weekend because Juju wants to go. And there's some things I want to pick up, um, some some staples. I want to get some more fresh fruits, vegetables, mostly vegetables. There's not a whole lot of fruits that they sell. They they may sell berries once in a while, but mostly it's vegetables at the farmers market. Hey baby, you hungry? Are you hungry? Oreo says it's time to eat, so I have to go. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.